everyone. My name is Randy Watkins. Uh, this is a doe I shot down on our 500 acres in uh, Chester, South Carolina this morning. Uh, my son Zach's actually behind the film filming me today. Um, wind's blowing a little bit out here, so I hope you can pick up the voice recognition okay, but if not, at least you can see what I'm actually doing in the process. I'm going to walk through the process of deboning a deer. Um, I'll tell you the steps I'm going to do first, and then I'll come, we'll actually start the process after that. I'm going to actually make a cut up the inside of this back leg. I'm going to come across the back. I'm going to cut down the inside of this leg. I'm going to rip the sides all the way down, past the front legs to the neck on both sides. I'll come back here, pull the hide all the way down, take out the inside tenderloins, take out the back straps or, or outside tenderloin. I'll come down and debone the front legs. I'll de debone the neck if we can. This deer's probably about 115, 118 pounds probably. So we'll see if we can get the neck. Uh, then I'll come back up and I'll debone the back legs. I'll start the process now. up inside the pelvic cavity. First cut is you go in and actually make a cut right below the bottom of the back leg on both sides to release that tendon. Come up to the inside of the spinal cord on both sides. Reach in and grab that tenderloin with your fingers. Lay it out. and take the back straps out, cut right on both sides of the spine, all the way down to the neck. Make a cut right below the top of the back leg on both sides. Always rip down the side to make it easier for the tendon to come out.
up and deep on the back legs now. First thing you do on the back legs. The only thing left is for you to take the deer and dispose of it in a place where you won't be considered littering. Uh, that actually concludes the process.